Hello everyone, this is Sakurai Panda. In this video, I'm going to talk about the questions that I got on my social media after graduating from the University of the People. In this channel, I'm going to upload videos about the life in Poland because I'm doing a working holiday in Poland for one year. Also videos about freelancing, studying abroad and University of the People. So if you're interested in these topics, please subscribe and follow my social media. So the first question, how did you find the University of the People? Well, I get this question many times. So after I graduated from a Japanese high school, I decided to go to an American university in Wisconsin, the United States, and I studied there for one year. Then I wanted to study in Europe to travel more in Europe. Uh, so I looked for an American university in Europe and I found another American university in Czech Republic, uh, Prague and I decided to study there and I studied there for like for four months and uh, I realized that I wanted to travel more without being on campus. The university classes required to attend the classes and uh, they didn't give credits to students if they didn't attend the classes so they had the restrictions like if you don't if you get absent from the classes about three or four times, you don't get the credits, uh, even if you pass the exams. So I had to attend the classes on a weekdays and I was very busy on weekdays and I still decided to travel on weekends, but I was very uh, nervous and anxious while I was traveling due to the big amount of assignments I got from the week weekdays. I was looking for a way to be able to study and travel at the same time. Also, the university tuition was very expensive, as you know, um, and I just simply decided to Google online American free tuition on Google and I miraculously found the University of the People. The second question is, is University of the People really tuition free? The answer is yes, tuition is free at the University of the People. It is the world's first online uh, non-profit American university. However, it is not completely free that you have to pay assessment fee and one-time application fee. And the total cost of uh, associate degree is $2,460 for bachelor's degree it's $4,860 MBA $3,660 MED Master of Education $3,960 MSIT $3,660 So the third question is do people recognize UO people in Japan? Well, when I started studying at the University of the People, not a lot of people knew about the University of the People, so I had to explain what this university is, that it's completely accredited American online university, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but after I started writing uh, uh, my own blog, after I studied at the University of the People, a lot of people started to recognize the university about like, about after six months of starting my own blog. And I think uh, there are still a lot of people who don't know about the University of the People in Japan, but at least I started to hear, oh, you know what? I heard about this university. Can you tell me more about it? Or something like, uh, I knew this university before, but I never actually understood how it works or something like that. And I think more and more people are going to recognize uh, the University of the People or get interested in the University of the People since many people started to realize the potential of, potential of online education after pandemic. So the next question is, how was it like studying at the University of the People? I really loved the fact that I could study anywhere in the world as long as I had my computer and internet connection. Exams were 
also completely online. There are special exams called the proctored exams where your exams need to be proctored using ProctorU service and uh, those exams were completely online. I took all my exams at home and uh, I could set up my own schedule by myself so I was very flexible with my own schedule. As soon as I started studying at the University of the People, I started doing an au pair experience in France. I was able to study French um, and study at the University of the People at the same time. After au pair experience, I traveled to Italy and Spain and when I didn't have internet connections, I just uh, opened the PDF file of my textbooks uh, during my flights and studying on the airplane. I also love the fact that there were various students from around the world. I could study with students from African countries or Italy, Spain, Sweden or from America and I liked how we were able to study online through Zoom. The next question. Difficulties I faced with studying at the University of the People. Well, there were, there were many difficulties I faced while studying at University of the People. Uh, my eyes easily got tired. Uh, time management was very hard and I had to learn on my own. So the textbooks are all online, so you have to open the files provided uh, by the instructor at the beginning of the term. And uh, I always needed to read the textbook on my computer. I didn't want to print out the textbooks because there are many textbooks that were over 100 pages, so I didn't want to print them out and read. So I often uh, used the Pomodoro timer. I studied for 25 minutes, and during the five minutes uh, for the break, after 25 minutes, I always got away from the computer screen and rested my eyes so that my eyes don't really get exhausted by the end of the day and I think it's a really good method, the Pomodoro method. 25 minutes of studying and five minutes of break and you keep this cycle for like four times and then you get a 15 to 30 minutes break. Time management was very hard because nobody told me to study how many hours you need to study or uh, I needed to decide by myself how many hours I needed to study for each assignment that was given. And since I could make my own schedule uh, study plan every week, I used Notion to write my schedule and the study plan so that I could finish all assignments by the due dates. The third thing is that I had to learn on my own uh, when I studied at the, at the American universities, there were always like office hours to ask questions to uh, professors and I could also easily ask my friends about the questions I had during the lectures after the... But when I studied at the University of the People, I didn't have uh, any teachers next to me or friends that uh, were studying the same classes so I always needed to teach myself. Whenever I, need, I had questions to ask, I needed to Google, research, and uh, try to understand by myself. If I didn't understand, I asked my classmates or instructors. It took like uh, two days for instructors to reply me back. So oftentimes it was easier to teach each other among our classmates. So the last question is, what did you decide to do after graduating from the University of the People? So after I graduated from the University of the People, I decided to do freelancing and uh, right now I work as a SEO writer and English Japanese translator.
I liked studying at the University of the People because I could literally study anywhere in the world as long as I had my computer and the internet connection and even after graduating from the University of the People I wanted to keep this lifestyle uh, so I looked for jobs that I could do completely online and right now I am in Poland I have a working holiday visa for one year and if as I can work as long as I have a computer and internet connection just like when I was studying at the University of the People I'm still thinking of going for a master's degree but I haven't really decided which major to go with I graduated from the University of the People with a, a business administration degree and uh, for a master's degree I do, actually do not know uh, what I really want to study because there are so many fields that I'm interested in so I'm planning to do a freelancing for one year or two years and I hope to figure out something that I want to pursue if you like this video please press like subscribe and follow my social media if you have any requests about the videos that uh, you want me to upload on YouTube, please ask me on uh, Instagram or Twitter messages. Bye!